今天我们来到德州，在德州达拉斯的东南边的 Edison 这个这个机场，介绍 American Flyer 在达拉斯的分校。American Flyer 它是一个蛮大的飞机学校，在这里有它的分校。那在我们今天很高兴的请到 Brad 来为我们介绍。My name is Brad Morrison, and I'm the director of uh, the American Flyers facility here in Addison, Texas. Uh, I'd like to show you around on a tour. Okay, we're going to go to the school. Uh, we will go take a look at the classroom first, uh, 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 and then we'll show you the rest of the facility. And then we'll show you the rest of the facility. 在墙上，这个是他们的 dispatch center。他们做 dispatch 在这个地方 ，Brad， 然后这个他们仍然使用的纸张做他们的 scheduling。OK， 然后这里是他的学生资料区，就每一个学生都有一个 folder 在这个地方。然后，包括学生跟教官之间的 talk 都在这里。然后墙上，然后你别烦。然后墙上是他们每一班毕业学生的合照，可以看到大部分的学生其实是来自中南美，或者是非洲。他们这里几乎是还没有中国的学生。Okay, let's go. So, 过来这里是他们的，啊，他们的教室。This is one of our classrooms where all of uh, our ground school is taught. Uh, we teach it in a group setting here. So we have obviously a projector. Uh, we project the information up on the, the movie screen there. 这也是他们的地面学科教室,那基本上就是有投影机,有一些。What's the capacity? 20? The capacity 30? normally about 20 people. Any more than that, it gets very, very tight. Okay, 大概是20个人左右. Okay, okay, let's go. So you want to see the one-on-one -on -one classrooms? Yeah. 好，我们跟着他走过来。这学校不是太大，然后接下来我们来去看他的 briefing room， 跟教呃一对一的教室。This is our weather area, so students can come here and check. You know, for the practice area that they're flying to, they can get online and uh, check whether they're or they can call in to a briefer, uh, an FAA weather briefer. You can here check the weather, the weather forecast, and the weather forecast. This is a VFR, the VFR community. Okay. These are our individual briefing rooms. So you can see before and after every flight, the instructor will sit down with you and talk about what you're going to do on today's flight, and then once you guys get back, then he will discuss with you what, how you did, and what's recommended for next flight. Okay. This is an individual briefing room. We can see on the page 36 and 37. Now, all of the major maintenance uh, on our airplanes at all of our American Flyers facilities, uh, most of it happens here in this hangar. So if it's uh, you know, engine overhauls or annual inspections, each airplane comes to this facility at least one time per year. Okay, they are in this place for their annual inspection. And 100 hour check, right? No, the 100-hour inspections are actually done at each individual school uh -huh. uh, because that can be done by just a normal okay. A&P. Uh -huh. uh, but most of our IAs are... In, are annual inspection here? Yes. Yeah, the annual okay. inspection would be done here. So 100 hours can make a flight to itself, but the annual flight they will bring the American Flyer to this place. Okay, you can see this is the 172 flight. Our simulator room is just at the end of this walkway here. Our simulator room is just at the end of this walkway here. Our simulator room is just at the end of this walkway here. 
well. And the majority of our instrument training is completed here in these simulators. True. Uh, we teach it in the simulator first, and then we go practice it up in the airplane. Okay, 主要的模呃仪器飞行的训练，它基本上就在模拟机上飞行，它会在模拟机上先飞完，然后才在上飞机去试做。所以这个模拟机主要是用来模拟各种飞机，包括一七二，只是它的油门跟 mixture 不太一样，但是差的不太多。So how many FTD you have?、Uh, we have these four FTDs at this facility, and then another three over at our other facility. OK， 还有三个、四个在这里，另外三个在其他地方。这个是一定要看的。And this is? This is our 737 flight training device, and we use this as a as an end of course. Program. It's a jet transition course where we introduce our current students to about a week's worth of classroom on uh, systems and dual crew, dual crew resource management, uh, how the FMS or the FMC operates, and then we spend another week actually in the simulator practicing flying a more complex airplane. We use this to make the last students of the flight 然后让你熟悉 FNC 的使用，还有双人的出舱资源、出舱资源管理的一个训练使用。OK， pretty good. This is pretty good. Next, we will walk out to the ramp so that you can see the airplanes out there, and then also the runway. OK， 我们接着走到走到停机坪看一下。它停机坪就在它的棚场旁边。所以走出来就是。Our ramp is almost right on the runway. Uh, the runway, access to the runway is just right there. So you can see all day, every day, uh, there's airplanes that will be taking off and landing just right here in front of the school. We have everything from small, you know, uh, Cessna 172s to uh, Boeing 737s. Uh, there's an MD-80. Uh, Hold on a second, the 737s belong to you? No, no, no. No, but just here on the on the field, we have many different types of airplanes flying. Uh huh. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. We also have uh, a museum, an a an aircraft museum here on the field uh -huh. that has a lot of uh, war airplanes. So the P fifty one Mustang and uh, -huh. uh the the what's B40. Fifi? Oh, uh, the B twenty nine. The B twenty nine bomber. You know, we have many neat, very neat airplanes that fly in and out okay. of this facility. Wow, these are their jets. There are Hawkins and Airbus. Okay, where's the Cessna 310? The Cessna 310 is right there. This is for your Martin engine? That's correct. This is for your Cessna 310. Okay. And one thing that's neat about this airport too is we are very close to DFW airport, which is just a few miles west. And then Dallas Love airport is just a few miles south. So every time you come in and out of Addison Airport, uh -huh. you have to talk to the same people that American Airlines are talking to. The same Southwest. approach, right? Exactly. You have yeah. to contact approach. So you, it helps with your radio communications. Wow. Uh, okay. It's very difficult, but it is great experience. Okay. I always tell people, if you can fly in and out of Addison Airport, you should feel comfortable flying anywhere in the United States. 每次进来的时候，你都给给得跟那个达拉斯 approach 联络，所以基本上非常繁忙。如果你可以在这里飞，所以你就可以在任何地方飞。蛮多学校会说这句话。OK, thank you.